thought today I'd do a bit of a comparison of my three tiny tents. They're definitely small, but a couple of these have got quite big price tags. In the blue corner, we've got the Outdoor Research Ascent Shell Alpine Bivy. This retails at around £350, but it's the lightest weight of all the bivvies at 555 grams. Next up, we've got the Rab Ridge Raider. This is the hoop bivvy that I've had the longest. Again, this is pretty expensive, retailing at £350. This is one of the older models with the event material. The newer versions, I think, have got a Pertex shield. Um, I'd love to know what happened to Even. I've got a few bits of gear in that material and I really like it, but it's just sort of disappeared off the planet. And finally, we've got the Alp Kit Elan or Elan. This one is the cheapest of the bunch, retailing at £129.99. Don't worry, I'm not going to try and sell you the bivvy dream. <laughs> These aren't for everybody. Um, they're a very specialist bit of kit. Um, they're more for if you just want to get your head down somewhere, whether that's somewhere discreet, somewhere a little stealthy, or in places that you, you can't just generally pitch a tent. They're all incredibly low profile. Basically, there's just enough room for you to crawl inside with your sleeping gear and maybe a few personal items. So the one thing that all three of these have got in common is it's like sleeping in a coffin. But the technology and the materials is a little bit different on them all. So for me, Event is probably one of the most breathable waterproof materials that I've used. However, this um, Essential from Outdoor Research, it doesn't feel like a regular waterproof material. It is very good. I think it's a triple layer I think it's a triple layer membrane. Um, I'm not sure how it all works, but it feels more like um, and a nice comfortable bit of clothing. I have got the Outdoor Research jacket as well, which is um, made in the same stuff and it's really good bit of kit. So all of these bivvies come with bug protection as well, which is great. This one, I'd say it's the least sturdy. The pole inside is made of plastic. It's literally only there just to hold the material off your face. It's not there for any real structure. The mesh is very good though. Keeps all those critters away in the night. I tend to just have it zipped up to around there. You obviously, if the rain comes, got to zip it up fully and then maybe have a little bit of air gap around the bottom here. The Outdoor Research Bivy has also got quite a large entrance with a side zip as well. So it's much easier to get in than the Rab Ridge Raider. You can literally just sit inside this. Although it's scorching today, I do not want to be getting inside a bivvy. There's enough room in here for your sleeping pad to go inside the bivvy as well, and your sleeping bag to loft. Um, there's a little bit of room at the bottom if you've got a small pack, you could shove down there, but with this bivvy, I tend to have my pack in a waterproof um, dry sack, and it stays outside. The Ridge Raider is the bivvy that I've used the most. I've had it the longest. I love this as well. I really do like it. It's the one that's got the most space in it as well. I'm not saying you can sit up in it because <laughs> you can't, but I can't get changed in it either. This one I can normally get all of my gear inside as well. There's room if you want to <laughs> watch movies on your phone, do a little bit of reading. Still looks like a mouth from a Jaws film, doesn't it? So getting in this one is a little bit more technical. You just have to sort of shoehorn your way in. And then once you're in, you just zip up from the inside. But it's too warm for that today. Getting out's not very gracious either. So I've used both of these in the rain without a tarp and it's not ideal to be honest. If I know it's going to be raining, I don't take the bivvy to be honest with you, unless I've got a tarp with me. So before I move on, quick thank you 
to Squarespace who sponsored the video today. So Squarespace are the number one place to go if you want your own domain or to have a go at building a website by yourself. You don't need any experience. They have ready-made templates for you. So all you have to do is upload your own photos, add whatever text you want, and then just drag things around on the screen a little bit. And then within a couple of hours, you've got a website. We've been using Squarespace for a few years now. It literally took us a few hours to get up and running. So the platform's got loads of features. You can use their e-commerce facilities to sell stuff. There's hosting to upload video content, send out emails and newsletters. You can even set up monthly subscription services. So we mainly use it to promote our prize competitions, all of the YouTube videos, and to sell merch like t-shirts and bobble hats. So if you fancy having a go at building a website yourself, then click the link in the description or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial and then you get 10% off your first purchase. So this is the Alpkit Elan. So I've not used this one before. However, I've used the Snug Pack Stratosphere. Had that baby for quite a while and Cracking little bit of kit really. Um, did a great job at keeping me protected from the elements. Now this bivvy is by far the best when it comes to getting in it. There's a really long zip along the side there. So getting in is a doddle. Sit down, zip yourself up. However, this one is the lowest or shortest, shall we say, in height. Just enough to keep your um, head, well, not covered in plastic. But if you don't like enclosed tight spaces, I've only been in there for half a minute, melting. It's about 25 degrees. It's not getting in the tent weather. So a couple of good little features on the Alp kit. Again, there's some mesh bug net on there so you can have this open a little bit there's also an additional ventilation flap here so if you lift that up so that helps reduce any sort of condensation you can roll that up if you want and leave that tied up there or you can if it's raining you've got the ventilation and the protection from the rain so although all of these bivvies have got little pegging out points you don't necessarily need to peg them out the rab bridge raider um, if you want the pole to stand upright you are better off pegging it or putting something a little bit weighty like your pack in this section the alp kit is double poled it is the heaviest but it just gives this head area the sturdiest structure and the outdoor research, so this one is, it's purely say, just to keep it off your face. This is more like a conventional bivy bag with the option to be able to put the hoop in. You don't have to put the hoop in any of these, to be honest with you. You can just use them as bivy bags if you wanted to. The Ridge Raider has got some tie out points. So it is really sturdy and windy conditions. Although all of them, once you're laid in them, they're not going anywhere in the wind. The Alp kit has got a little loop here so you can hold this up with a, maybe a trekking pole or a stick just to give you a little bit more room in the foot area. The newer version of the Rab, I think it's got a secondary hoop in here now. So this is also raised up as well. There's nothing like that on the Alpine Bivy. In fact, there's only two tying out points. There's one here, I've actually put these bungees on, so it gives me that little bit more freedom for movement, but still being able to have it tied down. So this one's got a 10,000 millimetre hydrostatic head, so it's incredibly waterproof, but this material is the least breathable of the three. But I think it has got the best ventilation options, because even if it is chucking it down with rain, you've still got vents that are protected by, you know, this, this bit of fly sheet here. The Rab and the Outdoor Research one, you're gonna have little gaps somewhere that you've got to try and direct the rain away from. 
Condensation can be quite an issue in bivvies though. Um, when I had my stratosphere, which is pretty much identical to the Elan, I got, I would say I got the most condensation out of all the bivvy bags that I've owned. Obviously it depends on conditions. You've got to try and keep it as well ventilated as possible. The Rab has always been pretty good. Um, I did get some condensation when it's rained. Um, sometimes the, if you get prolonged water on the outside surface, you know, it doesn't allow vapors to breathe out as well. But my last camp on this, I did have water on the outside of my sleeping bag. I'd say that this outdoor research one has been the most breathable one though. I've hardly had any condensation issues in this one at all. It's a really good bit of kit, but expensive. So there are other options that you can get. There's the OEX do one called the Salamander. Uh, Terra Nova do the Jupiter one. Again, that's this kind of money though, I think. But these two are about a kilo nearly in weight. I've got a tent here, Xbed Mira HL. That weighs a kilo. So this, you can sit up in, you can get changed in. <laughs> weighs the same as that, just about. So sometimes it is hard to make a case for a bivvy when you can get a much more um, practical shelter for the same weight. But bivvies are one of those things you either love them or you hate them. You can pitch them pretty much anywhere. So you know, if there's a little tiny space beside a wall, you could get it in there, easily hide it away in there, look. They're very low profile and discreet. So if you're struggling to find good places to go wild camping, without getting caught. These low profile shelters are a great option. And they're really simple too. You can actually leave your sleeping pad and your sleeping bag inside your bivvy. Just roll everything up and just have one like bedroll. Roll it out when you get to where you wanna camp, pump your air mat up and you're good to go. You haven't even got to get anything out of a bag. It's a tough one. If I could only have one, which one would it be? I think I would keep the outdoor research. It's the lightest, I've used it on um, mountain summits. It's just been a cracking bit of kit. And these two for me are a little bit bulkier. If you're just starting out though, something like the Alp Kit Elan is a, is a great buy if you wanna get into hoop bivvy camping. The pack size on all three of these is almost identical. So as you can see, there's not a lot between them. The Ridge Raider weighs in at around 890 grams. The Alan is 900 grams and the Alpine Ascent shell is the lightest at 555 grams. The Elan is the winner on price. The Rab is the winner on durability. And the Outdoor Research wins on being most lightweight and easiest to use. Let me know in the comments if you use a tiny tent like one of these, or if you think it's a stupid idea.